So now we're moving on to session three. And I'll take you through these slides. So just to remind you all, I'm sure in your first session, um, that either Andy's taking you through or you've had a catch up session, a recorded one, they talked through what is waste. So again, please go back onto YouTube and just simply look for what is waste. Or if you get the pack, please just review this video um, and familiarise yourself with what is waste. So once you've done your current state map, please then start looking at well, what is creating that waste. Is it waiting time? Is it travel time? Is it um, something going wrong? So I've just given you some examples from uh, my project, which was making the cup of tea and toast. Um, and I've just split up these into the tin wood. So again, that video explains what tin wood is. So tea being transportation. So I've just said the waste for me uh, in part of my project is carrying my toast from the opposite side of the kitchen to get a plate. So from the toaster to get a plate, that's travel time. Um, transportation of my toast, um, you'd want to try and reduce. I is for inventory, so having four loaves of bread, which is a bit extreme, um, in your kitchen when you only use one loaf a week. So you could say even having one loaf is maybe too much, you would maybe just freeze it and only take out two, um, two slices every day. You might think of that. So it's just having too much inventory, like too many clothes, uh, too much food, um, I was going to say too much homework, but your teachers will probably not agree with that. So, uh, but yeah, think about what you've got. Is, is there too much stuff there that's just not allowing you to get through what you actually need? Um, M is motion, so travelling myself, travelling from the fridge to the kettle, to the cupboard, to the toaster, back and forth. You can see my spaghetti diagram had a lot of motion in there. Um, W is waiting, so waiting for the kettle to boil, waiting for the toaster to pop. O, the two O's is overproducing and over um, production, so making four slices of toast when only I'm going to eat two. Um, and over like brewing your tea for longer than you need to is an example for me of um, over overproducing. Um, no, sorry, over processing. Overproducing would be the, the four slice when you only need the two. And then D is defect, so burning my toast would be a defect. I would need to bin that and then um, re toast uh, my bread. So have a wee think about that. I hope that makes sense. But that is really what I would really like you to start thinking about. Identify the waste within your morning routine. And then it makes it really easy of how do you come up with solutions. But you can only come up with solutions once you know what your actual problem is and your waste is, okay? So then as a team task, uh, we would like you to work on um, designing an invention. So please like think as crazily as you can, um, really think outside the box. There's two examples here. Again, I don't know if you can, I, I can't show videos in my recording, unfortunately, um, but I don't know if you get this packed, but you can easily, again, look in YouTube. There's some good videos of Wallace and Gromit. I don't know if, might be a wee bit too old for some of you, but um, he creates an invention to, that gets him dressed in the morning, makes his toast in the morning, all that sort of stuff. A really, really great way of really speeding up uh, how he gets ready. Um, so, yep, yeah, I know that's not out there in this world right now for us, but think that way. Think of something really radical that would make a massive difference to you, whether it's you know, travelling by, um, what have we had before? I'm trying to think of some of the ones where it's like almost like a wee pod and people get in the pods and it goes above the height of the trees and just takes them straight to school and lands them in the playground and they don't have to wait in buses and stuff like that. So just think, please think, it way out the box. And this other video is of a guy who basically makes a cup of tea from his bed. Um, so again, look up some... Look up some ideas, but um, really go really go to town. That's what we're really after. And what great as a team and, and, and talk through what you would like to do. So as part of that, um, when you're thinking about your invention and also thinking about your individual task of how you're going to improve your morning, 
really think about how could you create like a Formula One pit stop morning where there's no hanging about, it's, you know, straight up, stress, toast or tea or breakfast, straight at the door into school, um, ready for the morning. Or, you know, your morning could be that you want to improve it that much, that you've got time to go to the gym or time to go a run. That's, that's absolutely fine. But what is a Formula One pit stop morning for you and how could you achieve that? So your know, individual task is just look at the basics, really look at where you're waiting and, you know, could you get up 10 minutes earlier so that you're the first in the shower, that sort of stuff, or could you have to your breakfast before you go for your shower and then that means the, the shower's free by the time you get in there. That sort of stuff, please. Just think about the just think of it really basically um, and see where you can make improvements. And then the team task, really go to town, really think um, of a really great way of making everyone's life much better in the morning. So, but ultimately it has to remove waste. How is your invention or your improvements you're going to make reduce that amount of waste in your morning? Okay. So again, I think this might be in your um, your pack, your cadet pack. If it is, please then look, refer to the examples that I gave you earlier on for each of these categories and then identify, you know, just a couple of lines or a couple of words of what waste do you have in your um, morning that fits each of these categories. You might not be able to have something for everything, but the fact that I managed to get something just out of making tea and toast, you should be able to um, put something against each one of these for your full morning routine. Okay. And then this is in your cadet pack also. So all we're looking for here is like a really brief description of your invention and the idea and how it came about. And then you can draw a sketch of it or sort of, you can put loads of different like pictures that you've got that you've found of um, similar ideas or, you know, that you want to merge all together. Um, and then please identify here and, and describe what waste that that is actually reducing from your morning. Um, and yeah, and just give a bit, of a, a bit of detail there of how that's going to make life better for you and, you know, your household or, you know, everyday basically, um, if it's available. So I think I say this is, should be in your cadet pack, so please uh, work with your team to produce that. And again, just to make sure from session three, the main things that we wanted to, to learn about and think about um, is your seven ways, so your Tim Wood, um, how to identify your waste uh, within your process, so look at where your queue times are or if there's a lot of process time, how would you, would you try and reduce that? Push yourself to think about what good really looks like in your morning. Like what is ex what is value for you? What would you love to achieve from the minute you wake up till you get to school? And I say that could be literally just, you know, rolling out of bed and being at school, fully dressed, ready, breakfast and ready to go. Or it could be you want to, say, go a cycle or go to gym or do a workout. Um, you want to help your parents about the house to tidy up or, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, whatever is value to you, make sure that, that that is solely in your morning and the amount of waste that is removed is, is as maximum as possible. And again, identifying those, those wastes that you want to remove. 